time, man. You listen to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with yes. your brother, Old God, and Sam, man. We're going all the way in today. Everybody listening to this podcast, go ahead and make sure you hit that like button and share this video. What you got over there, Sam, man? Yeah, man. Jones, was, man. He was on a breakfast club a couple days ago, and he said something that stuck out to me real dope. I want to put highlight on it because many people won't. Shout out to Jim Jones out here doing this ownership CEO thing. But Jim Jones, if you don't know, he owns his own arena football team. You heard it right. Jim Jones, the rapper, the Harlem rapper, owner of his own football team. I'll let Jim Jones talk about it a little bit. Jimmy, oh God, we'll get to our one too. Make sure you go up top, hit that like button. The Uncensored Truth Podcast. Let's yes. go. All them kids now know what it is. You got, got Instagram, but you got Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. You don't got to go in the way. You put it on Instagram. Yeah, put it on Instagram. <laughs> all you got to do is go to work, man. They going to see it, man. God damn it. Now let's talk about this, this which I was very impressed about. And I feel like people don't support you enough. And I wanted to go support you, but I haven't had a chance to. You got an indoor football team. And I yes. think that's the dopest thing. Like, you, like it's an investment that you did. And I'm like, damn, we don't support Jim enough on this. Man, and I've been up at uh, Rock Nation talking to OG, who is the owner of Rock Nation Sports, trying to get all the support I can and, and trying to help them understand what I have here. And right. What we can turn this into as far as us being a culture and how we always turn things to the light with advertisement, notoriety, right. and the platform we have. So I, I, I'm i part owner of the Richmond Rough Riders, which is a professional arena football team in Virginia, Richmond, in, in Richmond, Virginia. Mm -hmm. uh, last year we won the championship. This year we in the AFL League, which is the number one league for uh, arena football. We 7-0 this, this year. Um, every set of home games, I try to make it to every home game. Arena holds roughly like 12,000, which... I'm trying to actually fill up to capacity, and that's but it's going to take, it's gonna like, take some time. We should be able to support you. Like I'm like this. He owns a team. It's a big right. platform. It's, it's a huge platform. It's, it's 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 built for nothing but brand sponsors. You know what I mean? So I'm. It's, this is the first year that, that um my first year that I'm learning and understanding and figuring out. And so next year I come back with a foolproof plan, and you know, and have the radio become a part of it. Now like, I want in, man. I want like I said, if I'm free, if you I want to buy a team. I no, you can. Buy a team. You can. Like so, I was talking to them about buying the whole league. See, my my whole thing is, I did this deal that I, I now that the league that I'm in has seen what I've done for the team that I'm in, just from the media and all of that. So everybody wants a part of it. Now I got a chance for eight more teams to add somebody else with an ownership package like I got. So I could put a Yo Gotti, a Fat Joe, a, a this and that, a Meek Mill. So imagine if Meek Mill owned the Trenton team and now. Trenton is playing Jim Jones' uh, Rough Rider team, and Meek and Jim is in the building. That's the arena is going to sell out. Right. Imagine we got Wife and Lucci coming to do halftime performance at the Richmond Rough Rider game. That's now playing okay. Yo Gotti's team, the South Carolina Titans, and all that. Like, you you understand what, what yeah. I'm trying to bring now? Not even that with the merch. All these kids rock football jerseys and football hats. So I was telling OG man, if you put a Rock Nation of uh, playing on one of the football jerseys and Jay was a red football jersey with the hat to match, guess what happens with that merch? Boom, out of here, booming. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like every 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 arena on could have a Ciroc lounge, a Duce lounge. Like we could culture appropriate this shit Absolutely. and clean up. And now we have a league. Cause I got an ex NFL players on my team. That's on uh, Greg Hardy, one of the best players that was in the NFL at his position. Came off the Cowboys. He played on my team like the best defensively. He'd be going oh, crazy wow. on the line. But what I'm trying to say is, this is a league where the NFL actually looks at the tapes to see if there's some athletes that they can snatch back up and bring them back into the NFL. And then also there's college athletes like y'all know. Right. That's dead nice. Graduate, didn't get to go to the uh, to the draft, but still got the itch to play ball. This is the league for them to get in, and maybe they can sneak back in the NFL by getting in this arena football league. And if we get the it could right be a farm. It could be like a farm way with it, with it, with it. Like you said, the NFL teams look at these kids and look at these people and say, "Oh, he's dope. He can make it." Kind of like where John Starks and Anthony Mason got to the Knicks. They were in the farm league and got pulled right up. But it's such, I see, I seen the potential with that. No, nah, it's dope. They got like the it's like a gladiator type of sport because all these players in the arena they got their own fans and the fans go crazy for them so it's like like you said bro i need some help in nah, a big way you. you need me this, to dj any of those arenas need me to come a multi-million out there? dollar business that we really need to shake up and that's what's that's one of the problems and i've been part of the problem too let me not make it seem like i'm but that's one of the problems in this hip-hop culture of ours we don't support or give a help a hand right. as much as other the caucasians cultures. do you called it as yeah. much as the Caucasians do. Like we seem to don't want to see another man 
jump up and become as best as he could be. Like, and that's why, not to bring it back up, but that's what I mean about the whole Supreme thing. Like, all these rappers are wear Supreme to right. the socks. But if you own Supreme, none of them rappers would have been wearing Supreme. Yeah, I saw your post on Instagram. All right, that's Jim Jones talking about owning the Richmond Rough Riders, part CEO, man. This is fucking big news, man. Shout out to Jim Jones. This is right here, right up the wheelality of the Uncensored Truth podcast. Man, CEO boss shit. Oh, God, what do you think about this, man? Jim Jones owning the Richmond Rough Riders and his business plan, talking to various artists and rappers and getting it really a, to become a culture almost, man, and getting us in ownership. What do you think about it? Yeah, man, that's real, real. And I would just, you know, I almost wanted to just like, you know, I really wanted to clap in the middle. Actually, when you look on the camera and my hands on top, I didn't want to mess up the audio, though. I was clapping because, you know, um, I just, he got vision, man. And I can, I can, um, you know, relate to somebody with vision because he's seeing it all come together. Not only is he just, you know, uh, uh, talking about it, he's actually doing it. Mm -hmm. And it separates people. This separates, you know, uh, the go getters from the people who just talk about it, mm -hmm. you know. And then, you know, um, again, taking, you know, we see a lot of these cats that do the liquor. And I'm not knocking it, but it's like doing something different. Let's own something. Let's own, you know, uh, something that's going to be really beneficial. Liquor ain't really helping nobody. We just talked about people drinking liquor and getting, yeah. you know, alcohol and all that. So, you know what I mean? It might look good to Syrah for the people, but ownership, team ownership. We talked about the NFL. You know what I mean? We talked about, you know, the lack of black ownership in that. So it's like stepping stones for us to really, because we, all these sports, we, they, we dominate them. So we need to be owning them. Yep. Just like hip hop. It's the same thing. And like Jim Jones alluded to, this is the minor league. This is the farm league to the NFL. Don't take it just from on the football field. This is on the ownership perspective too. If you have a black owner out there running for successful team, 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 win a championship, championship, championship. How dare you not right. argue his pedigree mm -hmm. in being successful when running a successful team and winning? How right. can you not? How can you sit there and not give him a chance to go if he has the money and the capital to go own a, a Arizona Cardinals or, or St. Louis Rams or, excuse me, the L.A. Rams now or, or or Cleveland Browns? Why can't he put his money up and put and own that motherfucking squad and be the first one? Because he's a rapper, because of this, because of that. Right. And it's not as far-fetched as we've seen. You see, I mean, I was shocked to hear that he owned an arena team. And now I'm looking up the numbers. AFL, which is the Arena Football League's five-year minor league team, Sherboot, sure, sure, I guess the main dude that really kind of started it, and eight other businessmen, they pay one million dollars to own a team. So Not you figure if you get, a, right. you know what I mean, you got a couple CEOs around you, your Jim Joneses, your, your oh yo God, he's like he alluded to, your Jay Z's, your Rock Nation, a million each, that ain't shit. Yeah, to yeah. own a squad that's right. major, man. And I think a lot of people need to start bringing this to light a little more and, and talking to Jim Jones. We talked about right. Master P in the pre-production meeting. He got something major going on. Right. I'll let Oga drop that exclusive whenever he really wants to because he has something dope brewing over there. But we see a lot more entertainers kind of getting into that field, and we've been talking about it. Like you said, we've run the leagues. It's only right that we can start getting into the business and start doing it. And if they're really not letting us in in the NFL, NBA, let's say, fuck it. Let's go to right. the step down and build successful winning programs so that when we go to the table with our money in hand, we got a resume that they can't fucking argue. Right. And you know what I mean? And, and Jim Jones said he's ex NFL players. Greg Hardy, we all know Greg Hardy. Remember crazy ass Greg Hardy? Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, I mean? yeah. He's probably wrecking shop down there in the, on Arena League. You can get people, you know what I mean, in the minor leagues to step stepping down or just dope ass college players that really didn't get their shot. And you making a difference, man. That's crazy. Yeah. CEO move. Shout out to Jim Jones and the movement. We definitely are going to pay attention, man, and keep you here. Fire on fire when you sense the truth. Yeah, I want I wanted to add this point though before for you. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to talk about thing. you know what I mean. Um, another point that he said was the branding and how all these other companies like when he talked when he talked about like the arena selling out with Meek Mill and Jim Jones, they got brand appeal, and you got uh, brands like Puma, whatever these brands are that attach themselves to these rappers because they got a pill. They're going to bring people in. It's about time we start using that to build up our own shit. It's, we got to stop building up the Pumas, the Nikes, the Reebok. We do enough of that. That's why we talked about our man, uh, Big Baller brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, Alonzo Ball, what they do, man. We need power. Niggas got to play for power, like Jay-Z said. It's easy, you know, to get an endorsement deal, you know, from this company. And that's easy stuff. When mm -hmm. are we going to do our own thing? So all you could do is just salute it. Damn. You know what I mean? At the end of the day. Shout out Jim Jones. Like he's, I mean, he's trying to pay within the circle just to just jump on that. You know, he's trying to go within. He's not trying to go outside the it's brand. too easy. Let's just, just do right. this together. We got our own money. We done played, got plenty of money doing this shit. Let's put it to something real. Let's do it together and let's win together. We just got to start really accepting and really just promoting that stuff more because like we always talk about here, we don't jump on and, 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 and help out the businesses like the, the podcast out here really working. We want to go to more of the vultures and the things like that and they complain about it. Mm -hmm. When we got brands and, and things budding, we got to go out there and show support. We got to support these brands. 
at all costs. They got to be highlighted on the podcast. You can't just always talk about the drama. Yeah, this might not get, it might do whatever, but at the end of the day, you got to show, you got to promote it. Shout out to Jim Jones, like we say, man, word up. Yes, sir. Make sure y'all go to hiphopun.com and check out yes. our business section because this will be posted with an article. We got other uh, dope articles over there. This is what we do over here. A lot of people just promote the other stuff. We promote everything over here. So let's get it. And you're listening to the Uncensored Truth Podcast with your brother, Old God, and Sam. And Sam, what you got over there, man?